Today I've got a really interesting problem from the AMC. This is perfect for anyone who's practicing uh, or preparing for the TMUA or the MAT and has done all the past papers. The AMC is another really good source of problems. Just bear in mind that some of the problems are a little bit harder than the MAT or TMUA and the syllabus is slightly broader. But nonetheless, if you've done all the MAT and TMUA past papers and are looking for more resources, the AMC is the way to go. Let's have a look at this problem. We've got, we want to know how many 15 letter arrangements of five A's, five B's and five C's have no A's in the first five letters, no B's in the next five letters and no C's in the last five letters. A really nice combinatorics problem. Do pause the video now, I'm gonna get stuck right in. My name is Jamin, I am a uh, Oxford University maths graduate and I now help students all across the globe who are looking to study maths at Oxford and Cambridge and over 80% of the students I work with end up receiving offers. So if you're currently doing okay in school maths but struggling to bridge the gap between where you are and Oxford ma Oxbridge maths, get in touch, link in the description below. Anyway, let's dive into this one here. This is a really, really nice problem. What I'm gonna do is draw 15 slots here, one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and we've got our first group of five there, our second group of five, and then our last group of five. Now, in the first group, we can only have Bs and Cs. In the second group, we can only have As and Bs. And in the final group, we can only have, sorry, that's As and Cs in that one. And in the final group, we can only have As and Bs. Okay, now the way we're going to do this is we're going to essentially condition this based on the number of Bs that we put in the first group. So suppose we put K Bs in first group. So we've got five Bs out of the 15 letters that we have. We could put zero Bs in this group. We could put one B, two B, three B, four B, or all five Bs in this group. So K here is an integer from zero through to five. Cool. So let's say k is 2. How many ways are there to place two b's in this um, set of uh, five slots? Well, it's precisely 5 choose 2. Or well, in this case, 5 choose k. So once I choose where those b's go, let's say we have a b there and a b there. Great, those are the two b's. If this, is if, this is if k is 2. Um, and then the other three spaces have to be c's. No flexibility there. Cool, now we'll go on to the middle section. Now we've got A's and C's here, but now notice that because we're not allowed to put C's in the final group, the remaining two C's, or in other words, the remaining K C's, have to go in here. How many ways are there of placing those? Well, we've got five spots and K C's to place, so that's gonna be five choose K. And so maybe I'll put one C there and one C there. And now the remaining three spots have to be A's, no flexibility there. Great, cool. Now we're down to this final one. And you can see we can only put A's and B's in here. And well, we've got um, three, sorry, two more A's because we put the three of them here. So there's five choose two ways or five choose K ways of placing the A's. And then the remaining spots have to be filled with the B's. And so the answer is five choose K times five choose K times five choose K. That's if K is two or whatever the value of K is. So we need to sum this over all possible values of K. And that gives us option A as our answer. This is a really nice problem. It looks kind of intimidating and it is kind of different to maybe the standard combinatorics type problem maybe you're used to, but actually it's not too harmful in the end. But please do let me know if you want to see more of these problems. And as I say, if you are looking to study maths at Oxford or Cambridge or need to do the TMUA or MAT um, or whatever, let me know. Link in the description below. As I say, over 80% of the students I work with end up receiving Oxbridge offers. I'll leave a video on screen of me solving another TMOA or MAT style problem, so I'll go and catch you over there.